on this cricket field. The pitch requires a swift throw for Sean Noble, a seasoned groundsman at Johannesburg's Riverley Cricket Club. This moment is significant. Noble, a cricket enthusiast for almost two decades, had hoped that the Proteus, South Africa's men's national cricket team, would win their first international trophy at the 2024-2020 World Cup tournament hosted in the West Indies and the United States. This final means to me that it's very important to our country and that this is the first time that we're not going to choke in the final. South Africa had a promising start but faltered against India in the final stages causing the cricket team to miss out on the trophy. This tournament also marked a relaxation from the quota system that had been enforced over the past decade, which required at least half the squad to compromise players of colour to ensure inclusive representation post-apartheid. Ashwin Desai, the author of a book on cricket looking at post-apartheid South Africa, explains how the excellence of players of colour has led to the call to drop the quota system. Constantly, the quota or targets were were being were being questioned and and re-engineered. Uh, but I think there's a solid body of evidence that quotas could be anti-black. Why are they anti-black? Because originally, when they came into being, it was to deal with white gatekeeping. But the most of the uh, cricket unions are run by black people. The selection committee is overwhelmingly black. And so the idea that there could be racial gatekeeping starts to lose its resonance. Noble shares this eye sentiment. You select a person on merit, not on name, colour or creed. But Noble is not the only person who feels this way. Emotions were mixed among fans and Johannesburg fan park. There were a lot of people, there was a lot of controversy around it at the beginning because there were more white players in the team or more players, like, not a lot of players of colour, sorry. So, I, but I feel like just, we should just get our best people, especially for a World Cup. We should have our best people in the lineup. Despite the national team fielding only three players of colour, one short of the mandated quota, some fans rallied behind the Proteas, advocating for a merit-based system. So we would like to see better representation. However, at the same time, we want to see the South African um, national team best represented in terms of abilities and in terms of who can get the job done. I think it's not fair at all because you are forced to bring people who are not competent. You are forced to take some people who are more competitive than others and drop them just because of this issue of uh, race and all those things. Many cricket experts and fans expect a return to the traditional quota system which has been in place since 1999. However, the 2024-2020 World Cup highlighted a desire among fans for on-field results no matter who achieves them. Siri Kassam, VOA Africa, Johannesburg, South Africa.